For the first time in more than six months, our weekly average is above 1,000 new COVID cases per day. That includes nearly 1,500 cases here just reported today. And we're once again seeing an overwhelmed hospital system with the ICUs at federal centers at referral center hospitals over 86% right now. 398 people in total are currently being treated for COVID. Well, the push to vaccinate continues with now 59% of Utahns ages 12 and up fully vaccinated. But it's looking like you'll soon have to roll up your sleeve yet again. Top health officials are recommending all Americans get a COVID-19 booster shot to raise protection. Now, they cite the surging Delta variant and evidence that effectiveness of the vaccines is waning as key reasons. New specialist Jed Bull is live to show us how soon that will happen in our state. Jed? Yeah, Ashley, the CDC director says that they want to protect the American people and stay ahead of the virus. This would be a third dose of the virus given eight months after the second dose of either the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccine. We do expect the level of immunity to decline over time. All right, here we go. Little poke. Dr. Shankar Swaminathan, chief of infectious diseases at U of U Health, tells me the vaccines still offer protection against severe illness, hospitalization, and death, but emerging evidence shows protection wanes. It's not, you know, 100% forever. Effectiveness also decreases against the Delta variant. The vaccines were not made against the Delta variant. So it's possible that the protection that we get as it wanes is less robust against the new variant. If the plan gets FDA approval, the booster rollout would begin in the third week of September. People who received the single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine will also probably need boosters. Those details will come after health officials review more data. Fortunately, we are really, I mean, really well positioned that we can quickly and, and efficiently begin to offer these um, doses. Rich Lakin, the immunization program manager for the state, says Utah will have the vaccine it needs as far as he knows right now. Eight months after full vaccination, people can get their booster from their physician, a pharmacy, or hundreds of other providers. If it overwhelms the nearly 1,300 COVID vaccine providers that are providing these booster doses, um, then we may have to return to a mass vaccination clinic model. Even without the booster, Dr. Swami Nathan says that the vaccinated are far less likely to end up in the hospital.